Okay. All right. So now uh, that you guys know how the grid system works, the implementation works, I would like to bring you a couple uh, use cases. Okay. So we will we will basically implement this, and as you will be able to see, uh, this will use no. Uh, we require no compilation, right? So the first use case is uh, just an about uh, rendering, as you can see here. It has a title. It has a, a text and a do download button. So this is the markup that we are going to implement. And I am going to show you how we are building that with grids only. Uh, basically, the opening div, the section div, we use a simple container, customized. The second one is a simple container, native, out of the box. Uh, this block that you see here is a rich text. Again, here we have uh, a left column, a left rail container with two columns. And you see that inside of each of the two columns, I have two rich texts, as well as this block. This is also rich text. OK. All right, so let's do it. So this is my site core. Uh, I will start by creating an empty page for us by duplicating this, and I'll call it about. Okay. Next, let me see if I can decrease. No. Just there. Uh, next, I will create a couple classes uh, because this div requires some uh, customization. So let me just get there. The class I will create, I would just call about container. The content that I will add to it is the content that I grabbed from, is the class that I grabbed from the markup. Okay. So now we are getting to back to the new item that I just created, and I will add that in Experience Editor. Okay, very simple. Has only one comp one placeholder, and I will start by adding a simple container. So this is the first simple container. I will select the About Banner class that I just created. I will add about about to the ID and I will change it to section. So that way, uh, as you see, uh, it already starts to look as as my example. Okay, I'll save it. Uh, next, I would add another simple container inside. But this time it's just a, a native one, so I don't need to change anything. Okay, so now I will add a rich text component inside of here. Let's wait for this to load.
I promise I did all the sacrifices to the demo gods. All right, so. The demo gods were nice to me. They will be to you as well, Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> so the new rich text that I'm creating, I will call it about top. About top, and I will drop a content that I just grabbed from my template from my markup. Okay, it starts looking good. Next, uh, I need um, one more two more classes to my two columns that I need to add here. So I'll get back here and add two multi-column columns, and I'll create a couple classes here. About column left, which will have these markup and I would just, I'm just lazy about column right, which will have this. Okay. So let's add Let's get back to experience editor and add one more container here. This time I will add the left rail container and I will change some things here. Uh, I will change column one. I will remove this and add about column left and column two about column right. As you can see, it starts to look like uh, the, the markup. So I will add another two rich text editors, rich text blocks inside of each of the two columns. So I'll start with the first one. I'll call it uh, column one, and here the second column, column two. Each of these will have their own markup. Right. Of course, I'm here doing a lots of uh, a lot of usage of, of rich text blocks. In the real life, you of course build your own components instead of just using rich text. But it's just for your demonstration. And to finally, I need one more rich text in the end. <laughs> rich text. Guess what? All right. Okay, so this is it. Now, if I switch to preview, there is your 
our about component. Like you can see, it has been totally built just with the grid system and the rich tags. Right. So the second use case, we will also implement uh, a footer with three columns. Uh, I forgot to mention that the two uses, use cases are based in this bootstrap template. Uh, OK, and this one has, as you can see, three columns with three rich text editors inside. This is the markup, I guess, even more simpler has a simple container outside with uh, some classes, has a simple container inside native, has a three columns, three columns container with rich text inside each of the three placeholders. So let's do it again. Okay, so I will start by <laughs> I will start by adding again some classes, and that's becoming a little boring, I know, because it's all you have to do. You don't need to compile anything else. Uh, okay, so the first one is in the container itself. I will create a new one here in the container. I will call this class footer. This is just a friendly name, of course. And here is the class that this will inject. Next, I will add a new container. So I will add it again, get back to experience editor. And I'll add it. And I'll add here. A new simple container. Okay, what I will add here is I will remove container and select the footer class that I just created. And the HTML tag, it should be footer because it's a footer. Okay, and I guess that's it. So click OK and save it. As you can see, it's already looking like blue and everything because it has the classes that we injected. Continue. I will add a new simple container. Again, this one is just a native one. And now is where, well, uh, let me just save here because I need to create some classes back to back to content editor I think I did this wrong but I, I'll follow my script anyway so I'll call this put a three columns and this is my class. Okay, so now that I, uh, next thing I would do is to create two classes to show we can replace, no, I would not, I would jump this. I'll just go here and add three classes. Oh yeah, maybe it's a good idea to add just a two first only to show that I can switch to a tree easily. Okay, so now that is selected, I can, oops, click at the wrong button. I can select Yeah, like I said, I, I added that to the wrong place. Let me save it. And I will move it to the columns folder. This is where it's supposed to be. 
yeah. I'll just refresh the page. And okay, so now we'll be able to select. footer three columns and I will save it. Okay. Okay. Now we have our three columns. It's easy. Everything we need to do is to create three rich text editors, rich text blocks. I'm sorry. And I'm just cleaning up some things here before I can do it. So there you go. It's a rich text. It's a new one. All right, last but not least, in each of the three columns, I will paste some markup again. That's, that will be all we need to do to compile these two components. We just paste some markup here. All right, well, that's it. So now I will switch back to preview mode so you can see it, how, how the page looks, right? Well, so those are the two use cases. As you can see, the thing is fully functional. For now, it's just rich text, of course, but the most important is that you could build everything with just the grid system and, a couple rich stacks.